either Asia or Chelsea, I know that's obviously not the outcome you wanted. Wondering if you can talk about what the message was to your teammates or just kind of what you said to one another in those final moments of the game or in the locker room. Um, that we, um, man, I mean, that's not the way we wanted to end the season, um, obviously. Um, we just shared a lot of love for each other um, and everything that we've been through this week, this this season, and uh, the highs and lows. And the locker room is just so special, and it's so it's a place where we're so vulnerable, and the people that we see all the time and love on each other all the time. So um, I'll go to war with that crew any day, um, and that's basically what we were talking about in the locker room. Uh, for either of you, um, you know, talking a little bit about the resiliency of this group this season, um, you know, the losing streaks that happened throughout the year, getting back to stuff, anything that happened off the court, um, you know, just the fight of this group. You know, could, could you guys talk a little bit on that? I mean, you kind of nailed it right on the head, just the fight, uh, being resilient in moments where people want you to, to break. I think we got a lot closer. Like Chelsea was saying, I think because the season's just so chaotic sometimes and you're constantly running and you're just – you miss out on loving on people sometimes because you're just caught up in the moment and you just want to get a win or you want to recover from a loss. And um, I think this year we really noticed that we really have to pour into each other daily. Even though we see each other every single day, you can't miss out on an opportunity to lift somebody up. Um, and so I think that kind of showed our resilience. is like we were in it together. We locked in, uh, whether it was re regular season or postseason. I think we really kind of came together and kind of grabbed the rope and understood what needed to be done. And yeah, the outcome is not what we wanted, but I think we have some things that we could take away from that uh, we totally can't just throw out because I feel like this season and three beats are hard. It's hard as hell. That's why not a lot happened. Uh, but I think this year really kind of set a tone for us going into the off season about how we want to handle things. Girl, I need everything. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> Uh, following up on something you just said, Asia, you said three-peating is hard. What do you feel like was the hardest part of that? Doing it. Doing it. Like, it, it, I, I wish I could, and I don't want to sound like an asshole, but, like, I really – just doing it. It's hard. It, every team looks different. Your team looks different. Nothing's the same. Uh, everybody wants to beat you. Everybody, you're, Everybody's Super Bowl, whatever they say. Um, and that's hard to come into. And you're, I mean, you get everybody's best game, and I feel like we've – Got everybody's best game before the banners went up. So it was just a matter of time. But, um, you know, we're going to take this. Not going to harp on it too much. It sucks. It stings. Uh, but I I'm very proud about the group that we had. So maybe we can try to start next year getting another and start the three-peat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Asia, question for you. Um, uh, Coach Hammonds uh, kept her composure most of her post-game presser but she kind of broke down when talking about what kind of hurts the most. Yeah. Um, and she said she hurt a lot for you um, considering the season that you had. How has she impacted your career just this year, the past years? Um, yeah. What does she mean to you? Yeah, I mean, I don't want anyone to hurt for me. Uh, I'm, I'm, we're blessed. Uh, I get to play the game of basketball, get paid while I do it. I'm around phenomenal women just like – it's a fun thing, so hopefully no one hurts for me. It's, we're going to wake up the next morning and be pretty good in a good space. But, you know, it, it, Becky has just influenced me in a lot of different ways. The way that just, just the fight, the want to just want to go out there and be the best is something that she's always instilled in all of us. But particularly me, I feel like some of our conversations are just not even necessarily about X's and, X's and O's. It's just about, like, how do you want your legacy to be? 